I don't agree that those idiots that went into the Capitol were there to subvert democracy. I think most of them were just a bunch of potheads that thought it was a big party to go crash the, the uh, Capitol. And I don't think that Trump sent them at all to go do that. Sure. But when he said, let's let's go to the Capitol and let's, you know, we got to use full, we got to show them strength. So? That's fine. I can go to the Capitol, stand there right now, yell and scream and show strength. Doesn't mean I want to subvert democracy. Doesn't mean I want an insurrection. And the other thing is, how do you run as an insurrection with no weapons? Those idiots weren't going to ins take over the country. Well, according to January 6th, there were a lot of guns that were in the crowd. In the crowd. Were they in the Capitol? Well, nobody opened fire in the Capitol, but they were using bear spray. They were hitting people with flagpoles and signs. There was violence. A couple of idiots that got out of hand. If I remember correctly, there was a group back in the 70s, some po Puerto Rican group, I believe, that actually set off bombs in the Capitol. Were they insurrectionists? Were they subverting democracy? And they were, they were prosecuted. Good, and they should have been. I don't think some of these guys that were in there just walking around aimlessly should be in jail for the rest of their life. That's bull crap. So what do you make of these criminal charges and uh, moving around to classified documents and trying to overthrow the election illegally? Well, for one, you're talking to someone there that was there on January 6th. He didn't try to overthrow the election, okay? What he tried to do was the legal way, and what actually happened was the staged coup that took place on January 6th so that they could take the electoral powers to actually certify the election. What Trump was trying to do was, was very legal. All these phony indictments is all going to bite the Democrats in the butt because it had to happen to Trump first. This is so that the American people can accept it for when Trump comes back and the revenge tour is going to be the sweetest. You mentioned you were there on January 6th. There's yes. some people who claim January 6th was Antifa or it Nancy was. Pelosi. How do you know that? Uh, I was there. I, I, I was right there at, uh, um, you know, right there on uh, front steps. I was part of the first group that was there. Um, I seen what was going on. I seen that everybody was standing there peacefully, you know, singing Amazing Grace. Once people got to the steps, that's where everybody was like, whoa, what is going on here? You know, everybody felt that. There was a group of like 30 to 40 people that walked around with megaphones that was screaming, this is your chance, fight for your freedom. You know, trying. Who were those people? I have no idea. I, I only knew the, you know, the five people I tra uh, traveled down there with. Listen, if there's one thing that Trump supporters have brought to their adulthood from their childhoods is that stranger danger is a real thing. These people just don't trust strangers. The biggest problem, I guess the biggest problem right at this point to me would be the, all these people coming in across the border. What is the issue with uh, the people coming across the border? Are you afraid of them? What's the... I don't know who they are. I don't know who they are, and now they keep showing that the ones that are coming are all the age of uh, young men who could fight. So do we want an army against our army? So, but isn't there an effort underway to try to figure out who these people are? No, I don't think there is any effort whatsoever. I think he's just allowed everybody to come in. There's nobody's been vetting anybody. You know, I think that they're just, they're going to come in and they're going to do what they want to do. When Joe Biden says he's spending money to support the border then, you support that? I don't trust Joe Biden as far as I could throw him. He hasn't taken anything except what he puts in his pocket. Concerned about immigration and what's happening with the border? Yeah, I'm concerned about um, people coming into our country that we don't know who they are for sure. The Biden administration is now building the wall and adding to border security. Is that a good thing? Well, it is if he's actually doing that. Um, you know, I, I think that he could build part of a wall and, you know, say that he built it, but I don't really trust the Biden administration. How come? Um, just because they just, because of our open borders, I mean, we're, we're supposed to have a secure border and he's allowed hundreds and thousands of people to come through. So, you know, I have to ask the question, why? Why is he doing that? You think he wants all these immigrants to come through? I think he, they have a plan and a purpose for it. And um, it, it kind of reminds me of a Trojan horse, you know? So what is the plan with immigrants and allowing people? I'm not sure I follow you. I think he wants to change America. If he can change the people, the culture, he can change our country. Speaking of American culture. What will Donald Trump do to save America in a second term? Close the border. Close the border and get all these illegals that came in through the border, not illegally, out of this country and bring oil back. What is it about the illegals that's so problematic? They come in not wanting the American dream. Like years ago, the illegals came in for the American dream. They came here to work and make a better life for them and their family. But I thought that's what they're crossing now. They all say, you know, we're escaping violence and 
Ecuador and Honduras and all these sort of places. To me, they're coming in to ruin this country. We're going to get attacked in the middle of this country because of some of the illegals that we can't vent are coming in, and that's their way in to get us. That's my feeling. So you think some of the illegals are here to destroy us? Yes, absolutely. And how will they do that? Well, like Hamas is doing, just random acts of violence, random kill killings. They're not listening to our laws. They just do whatever they want. So that's going to poison this country. Joe Biden's gonna has proposed $100 billion to help defeat Hamas and Hezbollah in Israel. Some of the money will go to Ukraine to help defend Ukraine. Some of the money will go to build up the border between U.S. and Mexico. So do you support that part of what Biden's doing? No, because Biden ain't telling you how much is going to his checking account. Do you think there's corruption going on? Oh, there's tons of corruption. Well, how would we know whether or not there's corruption or the money can't be spent? How would we know that? We'll never find out because there's so much corruption. The FBI's into it. Everything's, everybody's got a hand into it. So we'll never find out. So we shouldn't spend any of that money then on the border or on helping Israel or helping Ukraine? On the border, no. I think nothing against Israel, nothing against Ukraine. It's time we spend money in this country and take care of the people that are hurting in this country. My dudes was down with the brown until Donald Trump came in town. Until Donald Trump came down the escalator and said, the Mexicans, they're sending over rapists and criminals. They're sending over their worst people. You know, ever since then, my mans was like, nah, we can't have immigrants in here anymore. Because, you know, before, years ago, when they came over here, they were just seeking a better life. You know, the American dream. But they no longer believe in the American dream because, you know, reasons and things. You know, people don't come here to make money. They come here to plan terrorist attacks. Even though, you know, we got our own people running up in schools and malls and churches, shooting people up. You know, that's pretty much all Americans doing that. But no, 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 no. It's the brown immigrants. It's their problem. You see, the things don't have to make sense. As long as there's an other, as long as there's an enemy that's not exactly like you, whether that be along skin color or ideology, political party, what have you. That's the only thing that the Republican Party has going for itself. And that's a lot of why they're in the position that they're in today.